right, it is Monday night, and it's kind of late, it's 10.15, look at, you can tell how late it is because I'm in this, like, ghastly looking light where I, I look like some sort of specter from the great beyond. <laughs> I'm clearly not doing these videos in any kind of professional manner. So, I am feeling kind of silly tonight. I've had a long day. Mondays for me are the longest of days. Always, always, always. And, um, yeah, you know, my thoughts today are about, like, kind of what I was thinking my Mondays were going to be for a minute on these videos. You know, I've been thinking a lot about my work today. Um, you know, and kind of that whole question of what do I want to do? What do I want to be doing? It's very difficult. Um, a lot of people don't stop and ask themselves that question. Um, and, you know, even me, I don't really want to ask myself that question. If I'm being honest with myself, I would love to stumble upon um, a lottery jackpot and really not feel compelled to work again. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> Lucky for me, for the most part, I like my work. So if I'm going to have to work for a living, I really enjoy working with people. But people are always, com you know, complex, perplexing, you know, I don't actually, you know, I like to remove myself from people on a regular basis, you know, so it's funny that I have found myself in this profession, but here I am. Um, yeah, my day's been a little bit hectic. I actually started out my day, I guess the reason I'm really thinking about all this is that I started out my day to day um, with an hour long phone call with a marketing professional who, um, you know, is kind of a, offering a service to small businesses to do um, kind of an online marketing consultation. And it was super helpful, super helpful. Um, and gave me a lot of things to think about in terms of kind of what it is I really want to focus on, how to project that out into the world professionally, um, what do I need to do, what kind of, you know, next steps that involves. So it was very helpful. You know, and then I ran my ass to the grocery store, which is like, it's like Hunger Games now. <laughs> you go to the grocery because not only is there like fierce competition in theory for things that are, you know, in high demand, but it's always like dodge the COVID, you know, and try to maintain distance from people. Um, that was frightening. And then um, I came home and got all that put away and wiped off and all that stuff. And then I had my COVID coping skills group, which was great. I'm really enjoying that. It's challenging me in new ways. And I think that's super good. I sit with that discomfort in that meeting in terms of like kind of growing into this you know, new thing that I'm doing. Uh, and then I had two supervision sessions with social workers. I just love doing supervision and kind of talking about professional stuff and mentoring and all that good stuff. It's just so great. And of course, my kids are with me right now. So also navigating some, some real challenging stuff with the kids. I think my son is really starting to be impacted emotionally by being separated from his friends and feeling isolated and trying to help him kind of cope with those feelings that tend to kind of hit him in ways that he's, you know, not expecting. And so, wow, it's been a day. And so to that end, I cooked a big dinner. We played a game together that was silly. And, um, you know, here I am. It's 10... 30 almost and I'm doing my video so you know it's funny like I, I do like what I do for a living I think that a lot of folks you know again may not really enjoy what they do I like what I do um, but I am spread really thin in a lot of different ways and so I think my challenge the rest of this year is to really try to focus in on what it is I want to be doing um, you know and being a therapist is a big part of that but it's only one piece of that. Um, so, you know, it's kind of an interesting process that I'm on and trying to wrestle away, literally almost, not quite, but really wrestle away the time it takes to spend time on my website and on marketing and on, you know, 
blah, blah, blah. There's so much time that goes into all that stuff that people have no idea. Um, and, you know, I'm just now kind of scratching the surface of learning. So that's where my thoughts are. Business, business, work in, work in. Um, the song I'm going to add to my playlist is kind of to that end. It's a silly song by a songwriter named Haley Hendricks. And um, this song is called um, I Need to Start a Garden. And um, it's kind of a song, I think it's, it seems, it's very whimsical, but it's really, I think the essence of it is about, you know, wanting to grow something, whether that's literally or metaphorically, and all the crazy shit that gets in the way of, of your plans when you want to do that, and the frustration, and just the abject, like, you know, whatever that word is I just expressed that comes when you realize that you can't just, you know, you, you may want to do something, but it takes a lot um, and, and things get in the way. So that's the song I'm adding to my playlist. I love songwriters and singer-songwriters, and she's a good one. So it's a fun song. Um, the mind-body practice I want to do tonight actually is a, a little bit of a miniature body scan. I have a full body scan, I think, on my playlist. But I am finding myself, in spite of doing yoga occasionally and working out, I find myself really tense and starting to feel it, like in my back. Um, and so I wanted to do a body scan that is just focused. Um, I'm going to try to focus it actually on my shoulders and my back. Um, sometimes it's hard to isolate those muscles, uh, those muscle groups in the back when you're kind of not used to to really tensing or feeling or sensing those, but that's what I'm going to do. So a body scan <sighs> involves, as all exercises do in my little world, involves starting with grounding my feet on the floor. It's kind of hot up here right now. I need to put my air conditioner on. So the wood floor underneath my feet is kind of warm. I feel the chair underneath me giving me support. I am going to, for the moment at least, rest my hands in my lap. And I'm going to take a few tension-relieving breaths. That means breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth, kind of exhaling with a little bit of force to release some tension. And when I do these breaths, I'm going to really try to use the full extent of my lungs. It's always a good thing to do right now for all the reasons that we're dealing with at this point in our lives. So I'm going to take about three or four of those intentional breaths. It's so good to do that. in a body scan, the goal is to just develop a sense of awareness of your muscles and where you might be carrying, ten carrying tension in your body. Um, and so, like I said, I'm not going to do a full body scan. I'm going to do kind of a torso scan. So the first part of my body, and if anybody wants to do this with me, Feel free to shut your video down and just listen to my voice because I'm going to guide it as if somebody's listening. So that will help me through it as well. So after taking some tension relieving breaths with good intention, I'm going to close my eyes. Probably not really because I'm doing this video. But if you're doing this with me, close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing that. If you're not comfortable closing your eyes, that's okay. I would encourage you to at least soften your gaze in front of you. But closing your eyes can help you visualize these muscle groups. So um, maybe sitting will help you do this if you can close your eyes more comfortably in a seated position. And first I would like you to bring your attention to the muscles in your shoulders.
while you're thinking and you're visioning those muscles in your shoulders, see if you can identify any tension that's resting in your shoulders right at this moment. And as you breathe, as you exhale, I'd like you to focus on releasing whatever tension you do find in your shoulders. With every breath, Maybe you envision just letting your arms hang loose. They don't need the support of your shoulders in this moment. And as you breathe, just let those shoulders get a little bit softer with every breath. Focus on the arms. Why not? As you sit and close your eyes and breathe, see if you can identify any tension that remains in your upper arms, your biceps, your forearms, and even your hands. As you envision those parts of your body, See how soft you can make your arms, your biceps, triceps, your forearms, your hands. You can think of them like liquid clay just melting into whatever is supporting them in this moment. shoulders, your arms are now feeling loose and soft. Next, I would like you to bring your attention to that area in your upper back. Identify your shoulder blades. See if you can close your eyes and focus on identifying those muscles in your upper back right now. Once you've identified them, see if you can let them hang just a little bit softer, just a little bit looser. Allow your shoulder blades to just drift apart from one another. As you breathe, in through your nose and out through your mouth. See how soft you can make those muscles in your upper back every time you breathe out. Next, I would like you to focus on your chest. It might be a challenge to identify those muscles that might be lining your chest. But perhaps it means just taking a few really deep, intentional breaths again. And just allowing that part of your body to feel soft, right alongside your back muscles, which now are a little bit softer. You need some tension to hold your body up, but you don't need much. See how soft, with every breath, you can allow your chest to become. soft shoulders, soft arms, soft upper back, soft chest. And the last muscle group I'll focus on in this one minute demonstration is the lower back. Again, sometimes a difficult place to kind of Identify as you're dropping into your body, so to speak. As you close your eyes and you breathe, see if you can find any tension in your lower back that you can just let go with every breath, just a little bit more. Just 
allow your back to soften. It might help to move your body just the slightest bit to encourage those muscles to just disengage. You can let those muscles soften because you have your spine holding you up. You are strong. You are sturdy. But you are also soft. That is a demonstration of a body scan. And it really is just a function of finding the muscles in your body from your scalp, your face, your jaw, the back of your neck, your neck, your shoulders, your chest, your arms, your core, breathing through that, your lower back. How do you identify the muscles in your back so that you can then soften them? It's a challenge, but it's, it's a good one. <laughs> and then, of course, your glutes. thighs, your knees even, your shins, and your feet and ankles. It's a really great, really effective relaxation tool um, to do a um, kind of a body scan. And again, if you're kind of pressed for time and you know the places where you tend to keep tension, then just doing a piece of that can be really helpful. That's how I'm going to end my Monday.